everyone, Justin here. So yesterday I was hanging out with my nephew and his friends and they were arguing over which Olympic game was best. My nephew said speed skating. His friend said gymnastics is better. So they went back and forth as to why their choice was the better one. So I went over to them and said, hey guys, I don't know which one's better, but I can tell you one thing. The Olympics started in Greece thousands of years ago. And, and they looked at me like, huh? That's right, I said, it started in Greece. And then I went to get the mail and in my mailbox was a letter from a child who lives in Greece. I am really excited to share it with you so that we can learn even more about this ancient country. So stay tuned for this episode of Let's Take a Journey, Greece. Before we read today's letter, I want to mention a few other things besides the Olympics that started in Greece. Greece is a very old and ancient place, and many things were invented or began there. As we talked about earlier, the Olympic Games started in ancient Greece. Greece also started the type of government that we use today in the United States, democracy. Greece started the art of theater, and many Greek playwrights are still studied today. Greece is where important math formulas were invented. Many ways of practicing medicine and ideas about the human body go way back to ancient Greeks. Even many of our words in English come from the Greek language. Like the word dinosaur, it means terrible lizard in Greek. And with this letter, we can discover what it's like to live in Greece today. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, Justin. My name is Sophia. I'm seven years old. I'm in the second grade. My country is Greece. I live in the big city of Athens. Let's take a look at our map real quick. Here's the United States in North America. And here is Greece. It's a country that's part of the continent of Europe. Now let's zoom in and find Sophia's city, Athens. That's the capital of Greece. And there it is. I just got home from school. My teacher's name is Kyrios Theodoropoulos. Kyrios means Mr. in Greek. My class is very small, only nine kids. Most schools here have small classes for one teacher. We learn many subjects, but I like art and theater best. I'm in our school play. Huh. Remember earlier I mentioned that one of the things that Greece started was acting and the theater? Here's a picture of the ancient theater of Dionysus that's still standing today in Athens. It was named for Dionysus, who is the Greek god of drama. My family eats breakfast together every morning. We have fruit, yogurt, and honey. I walk to school with my older brother, Nikos. He's 11. As you can see, he likes to eat. After school, I come home and do my homework. Then, I like to play hopscotch with my friends. The boys play football. Sometimes my family rides bikes around the mountains at my grandpa's village. It's not far from my house. I have my Greek dance class on the weekend. The Greek people have many types of dancing. We tell stories through dance. I also love Greek music. I think you would like it too. Oh, that was so nice. Can you think of anything that Sophia shared so far that is pretty much the same for you? What do you eat for breakfast? What are your favorite subjects? Do you like to dance or act? Let's find out more about her life in Greece. I live with my parents and brother in a flat, what you call an apartment. Greece is very sunny, and I love seeing the blue sky and the blue water. My father is a janitor at the local water company. My mom works for a solar installation company. This is my rescue dog. He's still a puppy. His name is Zeus. Zeus is the king of the Greek gods in Greek mythology. 
Yes, mythology. Ancient Greeks told stories filled with characters that were kind of like ancient superheroes. Zeus, for example, could throw lightning bolts. These stories, or myths, were filled with adventures, lessons about right and wrong, and explained things that people didn't really understand, such as the seasons or the planets. Greece has many islands. People love our beautiful beaches. We go to the island of Crete a lot. That's where my mom is from. Sea turtles love our waters, too. Greece is filled with wildlife. Let's take a look at our map again. There we see Greece, and there you can see the Mediterranean Sea to the south, the Aegean Sea to the east, and the Ionian Sea to the west. Do you remember another country we talked about that borders the Mediterranean Sea? If you said France, you're correct. We have beautiful sandy beaches, but did you know that Greece has many mountains too? Wow! Let's take a look at this map that shows landforms. You see all that brown and tan? That's where the mountains are. That's like 80% of the whole country. What else can you see in Greece? Greece is an ancient place. We still have many parts of buildings and columns and statues still standing. Yeah, so Greece, like Egypt, is a country with a very old history. You could find remains from its ancient past throughout the country today, like the Theater of Dionysus that we saw earlier. The Parthenon is in Athens. It's a famous temple built thousands of years ago. It was made to honor the Greek goddess Athena, who they believed protected the city. People from all over the world visit the Parthenon. There are so many ancient sites that I can't name them all, but we'll go see them when you visit. <laughs> Sophia, that sounds fantastic. I have been wanting to see these ancient sites. You might have fun looking for pictures of ancient Greek ruins and reading about them on your own. There is so much to discover. Justin, have you ever had Greek food? As a matter of fact, yes, I have, Sophia. There is an awesome Greek restaurant just down the street from me. I love their moussaka. Our national dish is moussaka. It's ground lamb, eggplant, and tomatoes, and cheese on top. My dad makes souvlaki. That's small pieces of meat and vegetables on a stick. My favorite, though, is falafel. That's mashed chickpeas, and I forget what else. Oh, yeah, falafel on pita bread with tahini sauce is the best. I get it from street vendors here. <laughs> Greece is known for its olives. It was the first country to plant olive trees and harvest the olives so people all around the world could eat them. Many of the trees are very old. The olives are pressed into olive oil. My mom uses it on everything. There you go, another thing that Greece started, planting olive trees and harvesting the olives. We have a traditional lentil soup recipe that is thousands of years old. It's called fakis. My grandma makes it the best. She puts Greek feta cheese on top. Well, I hope she'll make some for me when I visit you. It sounds amazing. Before we go, I would like to teach you some Greek words. Are you ready? <laughs> ready, Sophia. Hello is Yasu. Yasu, hello. Thanks is Efaristo. Efaristo, Sophia. These words are really fun to say, but not as easy to read, though. And now I'll say goodbye to you, Justin. Adio. I have to get ready for rehearsal. Our play is next week. <laughs> Adio, Sophia. It was great hearing from you and learning about Greece. I hope you enjoyed Sophie's letter too. Be sure to check out the PDF that goes with this lesson and has really fun activities and information that will help you understand today's video even better. All right, ready to stamp our passport? That's it for me today. Until next time, friends, remember to always be clever. Hey.